let the attack of the awesome begin. Hello and welcome to Attack of the Awesome, the podcast so awesome that when you watch us, uh, you can go to our Facebook page and you'll automatically get a hundred friends. Everybody loves Facebook friends, right? Right? Right! Alright, uh, welcome to this episode of Attack of the Awesome. Uh, actually, it's been a while again, almost a month. Yes. Uh, along with it me... It seem like it's been a month. Yeah, I know. It just doesn't seem like that. Uh, along anyway. with, along with, along with me are my co-hosts JJ, as you may hear. Damn right I am JJ. Uh, Rosenhacker and Ruby, and I'm Mike, Woo! the host. Uh, Nobody likes you. Of course, no. Everybody hates Mike. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's get into the podcast with the Around the Web segment, where we Around s- the Web. What have we seen around the web? Actually, before we start, um, can I just say something real quick? Sure. For all the kids who are new to this podcast, I am a college student, and so is Mike. Yep. And so is R- Ruby. You still in college? Um, kind of. Yeah, I'm waiting for. My final exam, but I'm almost done. Hey, Rosen, are you a college student? One more year. Okay. You see, we have, I mean, like, we're not like some of the people that you guys just see who just sit on the internet all day and have, like, no jobs. So, I mean, like, we actually do stuff with our lives. So that's why we actually... You do? Yes. Y- yes. yes. <laughs> well, Ro- Rosen doesn't. No, he- he's still a little boy. But still, we, we do stuff. Yes. Me and Mike and Ruby, so so if you guys like expect us to be all like, Oh, we're all we we watch the internet and we do we have classes to go to. We mm-hmm. have women to have sex with. Ain't that right, Ruby? Um, I would like to have women to have sex with, but unfortunately my boyfriend has a penis and is a guy. So, so what, man? I think he'd be excited if you had sex with more women. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Any, anyway, around the web, who's going to start this off? Who? Let's see. Um, Not it. Not it. It's, yeah. Okay, then I'm starting. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I found an interesting kind of article um, about a guy who dressed up as meat love um, trying to seize control of a moving taxi and he was also dressed as a vampire and when the cops tried to arrest him and he claimed that he was meat love they believed him at the beginning and they also used um, the alias meat love in their initial report um, but uh, in the end, they changed their opinion. Their opinion when they when they found out that this is not meat love, and yeah, that's it. That's what I found around the web. I think so it's either really it was funny. really good makeup, or those Especially were just really people. stupid cops. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's it's kind of easy to fool the cops, man. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was stupid, and the guy's also really ugly, but I don't know, maybe kind of different ugly than Meat Love is, but yeah, <laughs> his picture is a lot of fun. <laughs> Funny. All right, who's next? I vote right. Uh, I guess I'll go. Yay! Yay. I was going to vote for you. All right. Uh, so who, who here has heard of the show Freakazoid? No. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It was created by the same guys who made Animaniacs and Tiny Toons and Batman, in matter of fact. Yep. Warner Brothers. Well, I found a, a certain channel on YouTube called the Freakazoid Digital Distribution Network that has the entire thing. Season one so, and season yeah. two? All four. All four. I didn't know that was four. I thought that was only two seasons. I think there were four. I don't know. But they have the entire thing. 
Yeah, uh, it got it got canceled because like it didn't it was getting too much of an older audience and like not a lot of kids were watching on kids WB and they had to move the time slot around so many times that eventually they just said screw it we're gonna cancel this and just focus on making hysteria and Batman and stuff but I love Freakazoid I think it had a cult following after they got rid of it and it only came on a Cartoon Network like at six in the morning. Yeah, it was only two. But they have all of them. Wow. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's mine. Freak. Okay. okay. Uh, Why were you searching for Freakazoid in the first place? <laughs> Why not? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Why not? I don't know. I thought I thought you just typed in Freak on YouTube. He's like, hey, Freakazoid. <laughs> this is better than porn. <laughs> in other right. case, nobody likes Mike. No, I just go. I'll go next. I got a few actually to talk about. Uh, this is why our podcast always takes so long. Everybody has one, and you bring like twenty to the table. You're a douchebag. <laughs> actually, these are pretty interesting. Actually, uh, all right. Uh, if you were a kid in the early '90s, you surely remember the commercial for the Milton Bradley board game Crossfire. Crossfire. Yeah, that yeah. is the most epic commercial ever. Yes, that crossfire. Uh, recently, a YouTuber called Freddy W, also known as Freddy Wong, made a video about crossfire with a cover of the song featured in the commercial by uh, a glam rock band of L.A. called Steel Panther. And in the video... Oh my god, that is so awesome. Steel, in the video, Steel Panther is doing a cover of uh, the, the crossfire song, and all of a sudden, this huge... Like lifelike crossfire gun comes out of nowhere, and he's in st- these ball shirt coming right at Freddie Wong. And he's got a he has to avoid him, so he dodges him while the song plays in the background. It's pretty killer. Uh, Freddie crossfire. Freddie Wong is known for his special effects on YouTube, so it's very well made. Crossfire. Uh, the next one I've noticed around the web is a. Uh, a new short film that came out online quite a while ago called uh, Portal No Escape, which is a, uh, a film about Portal. It's a live, what? It's a live-action Portal short the film. The video game Portal. Yes, yeah, the video game Portal. It's, it's made into a short film. It's got decent graphics, you know, decent special effects, you know. It's mm-hmm. a, And, uh, yeah, if, I, I was like... I never, I never played Portal. I know about Portal. I never played it, so... That's for me! <laughs> I mean, like, I, I don't blame... I know a lot of people that's never played Portal, and they just hear all the hype about it. Yeah. And like, I don't understand what's so great about it. I can understand. I can understand. You're, you're still a douchebag, but I can understand. Yeah. So, it's actually... Yeah, if, you, if you're a fan of Portal, there's... Just go to YouTube, go to... And watch Portal No Escape... It's a really good. What if I'm not, not a fan of Portal? Well, then don't watch it then. But but, but you wanted me to watch it. You you got to make me want to watch it if I'm not a fan of Portal because I've never played it. Well, I mean I have, but I'm just saying like if, what if oh, oh, what if what if I was one of those people that never played it? If you're not a fan of Portal, and this video will just get you, get the gist of what Portal is like and. It may be intrigue you to check out Portal as well. I don't know. It kind of got me interested in Portal a little bit, make, making me want to buy it and play it. And you still haven't. I still haven't. You suck. I know. Dude. And the last one, this one, you guys are going to love this. Tommy Wiseau. Get this. Tommy Wiseau is launching a, uh, a web series. A review, a review web series called That's really the Tommy Was Show. Wait, wait, seriously? Can it yeah. be on that guy? Put a, put a link in the chat. No, I need to see this. No, I, I'll post a link in the chat. Hold on. Are you sure it's Tommy Wasso? I mean, it yeah. could be just somebody posting as him. No, it's Tommy Wasso. Uh, the uh. It's gonna uh, Machinima on YouTube's gonna host it, and it's gonna come out on next week. 
uh, September 25th, and it's described as a part talk show, part video game review, and an infinite amounts of weird sci-fi insanity. So Tommy was so is going to review video games. <laughs> uh, By the way, did you know that someone on YouTube called me a female Tommy Biso? Gross. I mean, I know that I have accent, but I think my accent is different from his. Yeah, so he, he's Asian. No, if I'm something, then I'm a female Arnold Schwarzenegger. Not from my accent, not from my muscles, but from my accent, because he's at least from Austria. <laughs> Tommy Wiseau? Where is he from? I think his I accent is way less charming than mine. I don't know. That's a good question. Because no, nobody, nobody ever found out where Tommy Wiseau was from, because the accent is so out of place. In outer they, did, space. He, uh, they, they found out he's like, they, he's very uh, Cajun roots. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah, and that's what I found around the web. Uh, yeah. So that means it's my turn, right? Yes, it is. Do you guys remember? There's this ancient, ancient, ancient place. It used to be a social network, and it used to be the grand place that everybody went to. But now it's buried under the sea, and nobody will never know about it. It's called MySpace. Yes, we know of MySpace. It's a lost city, and you we have to like take like a little expedition down in our like little submarine. Everybody into the submarine. Okay. We. Wee! Say mm. Everybody, everybody okay. say wee when they get inside the submarine. Say wee. Wee! Wee. It, R Ruby, say wee. Wee. Yay, we're all in the submarine. Down we go. And you see, kids, back on MySpace, there used to be a place where people can upload their music and want to be heard. And apparently, that's where a lot of artists are still being found out still today I know music is not supposed to be my thing but um apparently a lot of people still use myspace for freaking connections I didn't even know that you can still upload videos you can still use I mean still up play games on this and you can still connect to people and it's just like Facebook still and I don't even know why but I've recently got back on myspace <laughs> oh my myspace is Gone downhill because they gave the world like a G6. Oh, yeah. Well, that's another thing, though. I mean, like a lot of people out there want to be artists. Oh, my God, she has a fat ass. But still. <laughs> uh, that, any you know any what? network that gives, gives us that horrible song? No. Okay, there's a link to my article. Bam. By the way, if you guys want something else new, uh, that's really new with the kids nowadays. I don't use it, but there's a thing called Tumblr. What does it do? What is a Tumblr? A Tumblr is a <laughs> it's a blog hosting site, and you can post pretty much anything you want. A lot of people have been using it to post pictures, uh, moving pictures like gifs and then then videos it's like a blog site and it's actually quite quite addictive how is it addictive it's just a blog site i don't know you start post one thing and then you start like okay i gotta post something else and you keep posting posting i'm just like holy shit okay how did i get so addicted to this an addiction like is not Twitter. healthy no, it's not. Well, Twitter's not that freaking addictive. No, I actually I haven't tweeted in a long time, so uh, it's not. I only tweet random shit. Like I like toast. <laughs> I've ironically I've hit exactly seven thousand seven hundred seventy-seven tweets. Uh, oh my weird. god, <laughs> that's so weird. <laughs> that's that's my luck. And that's number. what it's around. Yeah, that's not. It's not like a count. It's just it's, it's says right there. Yeah. <sighs> Alright. You guys are stupid. Oh, uh, whatever. We're moving on to the next Yay. next segment of the podcast. It's the one Yay. world of uh, we're talking about one in the world of music, movies, animation, and video games. So who would like to insightfully give what they found out in their world of 
whatever. Uh, do we have any pirates on this podcast? Because I vote for the pirate. No. Why aren't you guys uh, freaking pirates? Yeah, okay. Uh, Too uh, early to be pirates. Arr, shoot me, Timber. Uh, all right. Don't uh, I know her? Oh, hey, that's who it is. Okay, anybody else? Um, I vote motherfucking Ruby because everybody likes to hear her voice. And my not Tommy Biseau accent, I hope. Yeah. Yeah, you don't really sound like Tommy Biseau. He never really even had an accent. It was just he was just weird. Yeah. Anyway, what's good in the world of music? Music. Yeah. I have kind of different news. Um, I found one article about Christina Aguilera being accused of child abuse by a kind of boulevard magazine. They saw her with her son Max and he had, he had um, a kind of black eye. And like they, they took a picture, you know, like paparazzi. Oh, they took a picture. And then they accused her of child abuse, and of course they got sued. And yeah, that's the one thing. Then I got now all my my browser is full of Tommy Biso and everything. Gross. Where is my stuff? Man, you're terrible at this. Where has my stuff gone to? Yeah. Then, um, another part of the news is about Rihanna being mobbed in Italy. Um, Rihanna went on holiday. Rihanna. Mm-hmm. And Rihanna. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I should <laughs> smack you for that. How dare you get her name wrong? <laughs> hey, I'm from Austria. Yeah. Austrian chick. <laughs> Okay, Rihanna, <laughs> um, she has been partying with friends abroad um, on a $200,000 yacht um, some weeks ago, and they stopped in Italy, and uh, there were so many fans um, at this place. It was a millionaire's playground in Portofino. Um, and a lot of admirers were waiting, and yeah, that's how she got mobbed, because everyone rushed at her and wanted to see her. Um, then there is news about Lady Gaga. Um, she has um, reportedly ditched her crazy costumes to get new people interested in her, which is also very unusual for her, but I think we can expect more unusual things because she likes to surprise people, that's what I think. Um, and the article states that she's known as much for her outfits as for her music, and she stopped wearing her outlandish clothes in favor of more conventional dresses. Yeah. yeah. Let's look how that goes. And um, the last thing I want to report is I've taken a look at the new at the new billboard chart at new CDs and singles being published, and um, yeah, I want to talk about the first three ones of. Um, and I was very surprised because I didn't know any of them. So um, the first CD that uh, came on the market recently is, I might mispronounce this too because I, I didn't hear of it, Kaylee's Wack District, um, an album called The Kickback. It's... Um, place 73 at the Billboard chart, and I might not know this because it's kind of rap or hip-hop, and do you know that? Because uh, 
like I can remember some of you like rap or hip hop. I do. So, do. Do you know that artist? Artist. Yeah. Hello. Okay. Good. Then um, the second newest is an album of Chris Young called Neon, and um, I did some research on this too and uh, he's a kind of singer-songwriter um, his music is quite okay I think but one really funny thing that I found on the Billboard charts is an album of Grace and Chance Hold On Till The Night I did some research about that too and apparently this is a 13 year old boy I listen to his music. I mean, I'm also not the right audience for this. I'm much too old to um, be able to enjoy a kid singing, although he seems to be a very talented boy. Um, uh, he claims to be discovered on YouTube. He had some videos about him um, on a school festival performing a Lady Gaga song because Lady Gaga is his kind of idol so he performed that and that video got very famous and then that is so very sad yeah <laughs> and then he wrote his own songs he put that on YouTube and got famous and then of course he got a, a contract with a label and stuff like that but there is also a lot of people who doubt that this is true and um, they say that this might be a marketing strategy and this might not be real and it's not because of YouTube, uh, it is because of a label of a marketing strategy. I don't know, I can't prove it, but I don't think it's that uh, impossible that someone there, there are still people getting famous through YouTube, so yeah, I... can be, cannot be. I don't know. Mm, so but, yeah, and so that's it with who's... the new news. What? How what? Wait, what were you about to say? I was just gonna say, uh, Ruby, what's the most awesome song of the week? Yeah, what's the freaking awesome song of the week? Freaking awesome. Um, for me, this week, it's uh, Boys Don't Cry from The Cure. I don't know if you still know The Cure. They are an 80s band, and I was born in the 80s. You have been born later. Do you still know The Cure? I've heard of The Cure, yeah. Heard them, yeah. yeah. I heard of The Cure, too, but it didn't work. <laughs> I <-oh. laughs> Yeah, for me, this is the most awesome song of the week because... Yeah, in my new apartment, I have my boyfriend's big television, and of course, I'm watching lo a lot more TV now, and I saw this on VH1, and I thought the video was awesome with all these kids um, playing, um, replacing the, the band, and because it's Boys Don't Cry, and I thought this that this is a cool idea, so, and I love the song, so... This is the song of the week, The Cure, Boys Don't Cry. All right. Who's next? Rosen. 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 Yeah! You down? All right. So first up, apparently Fox is thinking of making an entire channel dedicated to nothing but The Simpsons. That's stupid. I heard of that. That is stupid. That is stupid. How, how, how does that work? Has that ever worked for anything? No. Except for maybe AMC, but that doesn't count. I, I'd watch it. It works for the news, because there's constantly new news coming out, but... Yeah, but when, when like, half of The Simpsons is really good, but a good half of it is crap? No. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty mm. pretty stupid. Yeah. All right, something I just found out. Apparently, they made a Haruhi movie that is coming out today, or not today? Um, a what? Tuesday. A what? A Haruhi Suzumiya movie. Ah, and what? 
It's some anime. Uh, is it good? I hear it's really popular, so yeah. Is, is it awesome? <laughs> I've heard it's pretty funny. <coughs> Your yeah. anime sucks. And because I will be castrated if I don't mention this, the season premiere of My Little Pony was yesterday. Well, that is all. It's a new season? Yeah. My Little Pony, My Little Pony. Da, 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 da. Why does everybody like My Little Pony? Well animated. Uh, is it good? Actually, yeah. It's, um like surprisingly good like it's really really <laughs> it's about motherfucking ponies why does everybody like it I know I know I'm gonna watch it in about like two years when it's not popular anymore and I'm just gonna be so retro and cool that everybody will be all like why don't you watch my little pony why don't you watch it like two years back because I don't want to watch it that <laughs> you have to watch Nostalgia Chick's review of My Little Pony. She doesn't seem to like it. So the new series? I mean, I no, the old one. Oh. No, I, no, go watch CR's retrospective. That was actually really good. He went through the entire thing. Lame. Anything else? Um, no, that should be about it for me. Rosen is a douchebag. What is the most awesome animation of the week? Can I just say Thundercats again? No! <laughs> say Adventure Time. Because <laughs> all I watched was Thundercats and the season premiere of My Little Pony, but that's it. <laughs> say Adventure Time. Alright, that's... Um... God. Screw it, I'm just going with Thundercats again. I hate you so much! <laughs> Can we fire him? We will soon. Eventually. Yay! Good. So, I hate you, Rosen. Alright, uh, I guess I'll go next. <clears throat> no! You always go last, JJ. Fine, I'll go last! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Unless you're opting to go next. I just yawned. Anyway, go yeah. ahead. Alright. Uh... the hell was that? Okay, uh, anyways, uh, before I go into any, like, movie news and stuff, I, yesterday went to see a new, a movie called Drive with Ryan Gosling. Gosling. Who's that? Ryan Gosling is, uh, you may know him from The Notebook, uh. Oh, I thought that was, like, one of your fr like, I, I went to the movies with Ryan Gosling. No. I actually went no. to with my uh, parents, but I went to see Drive. You suck. Oh, shut up. Went, Why don't uh, you just watch all, like most people? Oh, sh I, I'm not those people. You suck. What, uh, what are we talking about? I, talking about <laughs> I'm talking about the movie I saw, which is Drive. You ever heard of Drive? Oh, Drive. I heard that was really good. Yeah, Drive. Yeah, is, I heard it was really good. It is really good. It is really good. Uh, it, it starts slow, but it, once you get into it, it just goes and just, wow, it just blows your mind. Uh, just to summarize, Drive is about a, uh, a Hollywood stunt double who in the spare time is a getaway driver for crimes and stuff. So something happens during this heist, and uh, he gets the money. And the guy who is supposed to get the money is going after him, and he has to try to avoid being killed off and stuff. I made, I think I made it sound gay, but you know, if you watch it, it makes more sense. Uh, anyways, besides that, uh, Back to the Future, one of the greatest trilogy of all time. Uh, Back to the Future Part 2 featured a lot of awesome stuff that everybody wants, like the hoverboard, you know. The hoverboard, we're not going to get, but the other awesome thing that came the out... Air mags. Yep, the, yep, the, yep, the air mags from Nike. Nike actually made a... But they're lies! Lies! Let me, let me, <laughs> let me iterate this. Nike 
I made an exact replica of the shoes made in the movie, and they're not self power lacing at all. They have to wait till 2015. That is bullshit. But here's the thing: they were on auction on eBay, and today's the last day to to auction to buy shoes on eBay. Five thousand dollars a pair. Oh yeah, that's it's when really it, five thousand yeah, dollars. Yes. Yeah. When it, when, when it first started ten days ago, it was like five thousand dollars for a pair of shoes. But I looked at it today; they're a lot cheaper now. They're that's down to two thousand dollars and to one thousand dollars for a pair of shoes. And the sizes range from seven to the thirteen. The don't lace. Oh shit! Well, hey, a lot of I thought they were pretty cool without power lacing. You know. But uh, actually, I I kind of read a couple of things about power lacing. You know, they don't actually power lace because they don't have any laces per se. They just like adjust to your size of your foot per se. But yeah, we gotta wait till 2015 for the uh, power lace uh, power lacing shoes. But uh, Nike's not making a profit of these. These these shoes being auctioned off on eBay go straight to the Michael J. Fox. Uh, foundation for his to find the cure of Parkinson's disease. So it's all for au- for uh, charity. That's lame. Yes, it is. And you know, a lot of people are pissed off because they can't buy a pair of shoes because it's so damn expensive. And uh, they want to buy shoes for. They want to buy these shoes because you know, Back to the Future was their like their <laughs> childhood, and they loved the Back to the Future Part Two, and it's just this. Dream come true. Great cause. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> there's this one guy who has a kid, and this kid wants these pairs of shoes. And there's a video of it on YouTube. And this kid's like, I want a pair of those Back to the Future shoes. Uh, son, I can't buy them because they cost $5,000. But I want the Back to the Future shoes. Sorry. Uh, you, you, you're a terrible impressionist. Yeah. Okay, shut up. Can we fire? Can we fire Mike too? <laughs> shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Uh, I'm, I'm not talking anymore. You're just, just kind of rambling now. I know. Uh, James Bond. Now let's go to James Bond newsworthy stuff. Uh, oh. In Casino Royale and Quantum of Solace, uh, there's a black actor known as Jeffrey Wright who played the CIA agent of Felix. He might not be in the new Bond film. So? I guess. <laughs> I, I, would think somebody would, I would think somebody would care about that, but I guess not. Nope. Nope. Uh, let's talk about the Highlander reboot. Remake. Ah! Uh, this time, uh, the Highlander remake has a director per se, someone who's interested in it. Uh, is the uh, it's Juan Carlos, who directed uh, 20, 28 weeks later. So he's interested. Crap! He's <laughs> he's interested in re- remaking Highlander. Oh, it gets worse. It gets worse. What did the I? The writer wrote the Twilight movies. Oh yeah, yeah Stephanie Meyer. No, the the movies. No, yeah, it says uh, it's still working with the script drafted by uh, Art and Matt from of my, Iron Man, which was polished by Melissa, who did did Twilight. So it was polished, polished it up. Yeah, I don't know about Highlander. Or she turned. Cannot polish a fucking turd. You can polish a turd, but I don't know. We'll see. It. We'll see how that works out. Last but not least, let's talk about the worst movie. Mo- the worst movie ever. It's actually a Redemic? movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's actually a movie called The Worst Movie Ever. It's. It, it went at the box office. Guess how much you gross. Enough. How much? Eleven bucks. Oh, I did it. <laughs> That's impossible. <laughs> One ticket. 
Eleven bucks. At the Wait, bucks. is it just called? Is it called the worst movie ever made? No, it's called the worst movie or ever. Or the worst horror movie ever made. That's not it. No, it's called the worst movie ever. Uh, the synopsis of the movie is a a robot alien, angst riven tr- teens, cleavage cleavage wielding soul takers, a dark overlord, a pregnant fourteen year old cougar. Scientist, Santa Claus, yes, this movie has it all. It may be the worst movie ever, but it's the best sci-fi, action, drama, horror, comedy, musical you've ever seen. <laughs> it, it, it is the worst movie. But it had a budget of a thousand, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. In a very sad way. Yeah. And that is the movie news. And the uh, most awesome movie of the week is pretty much Drive. If you, uh, that's what my awesome movie of the week is, Drive. Go check it out. So is it my turn now? Yes. Oh. Wah. Nobody likes listening to the podcast for me. Of course. <sighs> but since I'm probably the only cool kid. All right, kids. Ugh. I'm a bastard. Okay. First and foremost, the motherfucking games that just recently monkey fucking came out was Warhammer 4000 Space Marines. If you guys ever watch like anything off of Blip TV, you probably got that stupid av- advertisement. But the little fry cook sitting there all like, I got me an invisible shield. And then you got the hot checkers all like, I can recover when I'm in the shower. Then you got that really badass freaking prison all like, I am, Henriksen. I am a space marine. I love yeah. that fucking place. <laughs> Yeah. No, Lance fucking Henriksen. Damn right. Isn't he the guy from freaking, uh, fucking, what's that movie called? Uh, I from forgot. a lot of things. I don't know. Uh, uh, wasn't the guy from fucking Saw there too? What? Never mind. Fuck you. You guys <laughs> suck. Anyway, but yeah, Warhammer 4000 Space Marines, and they're just trying to modernize their shit with freaking shooters and whatnot. I don't know why, but everybody wants to be like me. Uh, Gears of War is coming out by the end of the freaking week, or either today or tomorrow. I don't, I'm not sure. I can't remember. Uh, so I can't really say, oh my gosh, I'm playing Gears of War, but all my friends are all like, oh, we're going to go to the motherfucking, motherfucking, uh, whatever you call it. What is that game? Uh, the motherfucking Midnight release. Because hopefully we're all hoping that Gears of War 3 will finally replace fucking Call of Duty. Black Ops. <laughs> Do you guys have friends that go around and say, hey, you want to play some zombies? What? Unfortunately, that's my brother. See? <laughs> Everyone's probably getting really tired of zombies. Hey, Ruby, you play zombies? Um, no, not really. I don't know that game. You suck. But in my case, there is just a few games that I that I play. I don't know a lot of them. Why do you? So. Um, shizzles. Like a lot of new games. Apparently there's a new God of War game, and I've never actually even heard of it, neither. It was called God of War Origins. And is that a re-release of God of War 1 and 2? I think it's a release of the PSP games. Why? Why would they re-release the freaking PSP games of the freaking God? I heard those games are short as shit. Well, no, it's it's the first two and, and the PSP games. Oh, okay. Still, though, I, I never beat God of War 1, actually. I beat God of War 2. I didn't beat God of War 1. Don't I suck? <laughs> yeah, I, st- I have it. I still haven't beaten it. I'm, I'm focusing on Infamous. Ah, oh, you suck. Wait, Infamous, which one? Two or three? Two or one? One, but I have two with me. Did you get it when the fallout of PS3 happened? I already had it before then, but yeah. Uh, I got my Infamous when the fallout of PS3 happened. Smart move. Yes. Yes, it is. Anyway, uh, I think I gotta go in more depth with some of more of the retro shit that I do because I'm a retro gamer. But since I'll tie back in with some of the newer recent shit, they re-released Star Fox 64 for the 3DS. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. Seen the commercial for it. 
And it's just like the first fucking game. I mean, it's just like the one for N64. Awesome. No, that's not awesome. <laughs> you see, that's like, it works with Legend of Zelda because everybody loves Legend of Zelda. But I mean, like, everybody would have... Everybody would appreciate Legend of Zelda, and my freaking roommates just turned on the goddamn motherfucking heat. You ass clowns. Oh, I can't reach it. I'm too short. Uh, there. Do you guys hear, like, a hiss in the background now? A little bit. Ah, oh, fuck this. But I, it's not too abstra- distracting. Okay, but anyway, my roommates are douchebags. Uh, yeah, Star Fox 64 came out. It's just like the original Star Fox 64, just without the nostalgia. It's just a whole new look. The thing is, I like playing the old Star Fox, and I like playing the old Legend of Zelda instead of trying to play it on my 3DS that I do not own right now. Which, by the way, dropped in price. It's like 169 now. Hmm. Uh, anything else? No, because since I'm like you guys, I'm not going to be a dick and just be all like, oh, I'm going to keep on talking for 15 minutes about absolutely shit. Everybody loves my movies. Everybody loves my movies. Anyway, no. <sighs> you want to have a game? Uh, my freaking game of this week is Final Fantasy, or uh, not Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. <laughs> you want to know why? Why? You want to know why? Because it's a fun fucking game. <laughs> Uh, basically, I was just getting back. I was like sitting here with this girl at night. And we were just watching like a whole bunch. Of, we just had a little Disney a thon, and we were just listening to Disney music from like across the land. And I was like, man, I feel like playing Kingdom Hearts. So I booted up my PSP, and then I started playing my fucking Birth by Sleep. And I got the Japanese edition of uh, Birth by Sleep Final Mix or Final Mix Plus. Or I don't give an I don't know. But basically, I was playing that today, and I was just fighting Monstro. So, if you kids don't have the, if you got the American version, you can't do that. Because I actually pre-ordered mine, bought mine like two years, or a year ago. Uh, I'm actually selling mine on Amazon.com for only 50 bucks, so go on there and buy it from me. And that is my rant. Alright, cool. Uh, let's get into the weird news. Oh. Get into the weird news. The weird go news. find out. For- freaking fan. I'll be right back. Well, okay. Actually, I won't be right back. I'll, I'll be sitting here listening to your stupid news. Uh, actually, the first one I found is kind of related to JJ in a way since he said he wanted to go to Ch- he wanted to go to China and uh, he likes Angry Birds. Yes. So in in China, a Angry Birds theme park open. Cool! Yeah. I thought so, too. A theme park in China has opened an unlicensed Angry Birds attraction that offers visitors the chance to use a real-life slingshot to knock pigs off a elaborate structure, a la the popular mo- uh, mobile game. That's really lame. But <laughs> that does stand. I want to launch people. I want them to launch me. They're like, Wee! <laughs> 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 Seven hundred thousand lawsuits later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. All the uh, all the building blocks and crap will be made out of freaking uh, styrofoam, so it won't hurt anybody. And at the uh, at the bottom, what if they miss? Oh, shit. <laughs> well, yeah. theme parks never mess up. Mostly. It's, uh, yeah, mostly. Mostly. Uh, yeah, I, th- I thought that was pretty interesting to find that out. Uh, Let's go into food-related uh, weird oh, news. I am. Domino's. Oh, it's getting disgusting again. Uh, not really. I'm. I'm going to talk about Domino's Pizza now because Domino's Pizza plans to make a Domino's Pizza on the moon. Yay! What? Why? How? For pizza on the moon, we carry a harpoon. <laughs> they. Mm. Blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. That's why we sing our way like tunes. But what's sense in this? There are no people living on the moon. I'm no on the moon. wanting to eat pizza, so... I don't want to eat pizza on the moon. But the, it's a Domino's... There it's, is no air. It's the Japanese Domino's pizza that we're talking about here. They want to go on the moon and have the first... Aren't you the guy who said you wanted to ride a Triceratops at Domino's, JJ? Damn right I am. <laughs> 
Yeah, the estimate cost of it would be more than twenty-one billion dollars. Pause it. <laughs> yeah, that's just like okay. What is the sense in this? I awesome. Eventually, people. Eventually, we're gonna be on the moon. Okay, we're gonna have cities. Yay! On the moon. We're gonna be on the moon. We have cities on the moon. It's gonna be like our we're next. It's going to be our second the Earth. Thing we on the moon. We carry food. Out our food. Why don't you go into that? <laughs> that freaking song is awesome. Future Armor rocks. <laughs> that does. Oh, man. Okay, yeah. All right, uh, let's talk about the world's wackiest ice cream. Everybody loves hey. ice cream. I don't. You suck. I smell hijinks. <laughs> Uh, let's talk, alright, there's going to be, I'm going to talk about ice creams from different states of the United States. So, in Florida, I think I mentioned this before, the ice cream cheeseburger, where the, it's a cheeseburger topped with lettuce, pickles, tomatoes, and you guessed it, a giant scoop of fried ice cream. Lame. That is awesome. Lame. I don't like bananas. Bananas? There ain't no bananas. Oh, I thought you said banana. I said lettuce, pickles, tomatoes, and a giant scoop of fried ice cream. That's even worse. This sucks. Shut up, Rosen. You're a dick. It tastes <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, okay, Maine. Let's go to Maine now with lobster ice cream. Hey, I'll eat that. <sighs> tastes uh, like lobster. Yeah, they mix chunks of local Maine lobster into their butter ice cream. I gotta put on my snuggie. They have butter ice cream. That's disgusting. It's the most. It's one of their most. Po it's at the uh, Bill Ben and Bill's Chocolate Emporium. It's the most popular item for shipping. Really. So go to benandbills.com and you can order it. Second there, I thought you were gonna say Bill and Ted. I was gonna say Bill and Ted. I almost flubbed up there, but Bill and Ben and Bill's Chocolate Emporium in Maine. Uh, excellent. Uh, excellent. Let's see. Tokyo, Japan. Ice cream Tokyo. Ice cream cone ramen. The heck? That's weird. Yeah. I should have that in New York. Soft serve cone with ramen flavors. With classic soy yeah. sauce broth. Ugh. Uh, mm. San San Francisco. Let's see. Government cheese ice cream. The hell? Wow, okay. What is government cheese, anyway? I have no freaking... That is so weird. I don't... I can't even describe it. Your face is weird. Yes, I... thank you for noticing that. God, I guess it's got... Uh, prosciutto... Oh my god, that's weird. I hate that. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> Let's go back Dude, to yeah, they made a ba they made a bacon Sunday before. I know. Let's go back to let's go back to Tokyo for a while and uh let's talk about Tokyo. Beef tongue ice cream. Ugh. Ah, you said it wouldn't be disgusting. Okay, maybe How was... can I ever believe you again to say something? <laughs> okay, and, maybe... and you tell me, no, it's not going to be disgusting, it's just just that tongue one. ice cream. Oh, it's beef tongue ice cream. Yummy. <laughs> okay, never Ironically, mind. Ironically, people mostly lick it to eat it. That's what she <laughs> said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, like I said, it's the best sellers in Tokyo, beef tongue, which is apparently created for meat lovers. And whale and oyster as well. Okay. Please tell me that's that those are actual oysters and not like Rocky Mountain oysters. I oysters. Actual oysters, made into the ice cream. Oh, thank God. All right. Uh, I was gonna say if they made bull testicle ice cream, that would be disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> After they invented all that, it's time to invent bull penis ice cream. That's also very delicious. Okay, I think we got our episode title. Yay! <laughs> Yep, I got it. All right, uh, next one. <laughs> Fried bubble gum. Gross. Wins most creative at a Texas state fair. And it's not actually bubble gum. They, it's a lie! 
What was it? it they... Hey, that's my line. <laughs> I just stole it. Screaming uh, lies is my is my thing. <laughs> uh, it says in the article that it's just a, it's like a marshmallow that's dipped into a pink batter and fried, and topped with blue icing and some chiclets. Chiclets. So it's a marshmallow with bubblegum extract, so it tastes like bubblegum. So it ain't deep, it ain't no deep fried bubblegum. It's a marshmallow with that tastes like bubblegum. Liar. It's a, it's a gum flavored farce. Yes. Uh, that sounds like a very important thing that really had to be invented because we can't live without it. <laughs> Yes, Americans love their deep fried foods. <clears throat> yeah, uh, uh, I see. Yep. Let's uh, talk about the uh, whole uh, restaurant serving alcohols to minors thing again, because I talked about it in the past. This time it's Outback Steakhouse that serves alcohol to a four-year-old and two teen teenagers. A four-year-old? Yes, a four-year-old. Really? Yes. <laughs> really? Yes, really. See, these restaurants are being so dumb and they can't even tell who they're serving the alcohol yeah. to. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. I hate people. They they were given a sample of a slushy-like drink that contained peach schnapps and vodka. So... Uh, oh, eight-year-olds, dude. It's... Nobody? Big Lebowski? No. Big Lebowski! No. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. You're yeah. all idiots. You're an idiot! Everybody's an idiot. Wait, have you seen the Big Lebowski? If not, then forget no. what I said. You know Ignoring. I don't believe in... You know, you know I don't listen to rap music. <laughs> no? I thought you did. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright, the last one. You gotta love this one. That sound was me hitting... My head on a wall. <laughs> All right, here's the last one. You're gonna love this. You know Peta. You know a Peta. You know the Peta. Yeah. Yeah, Peta. Guess what they're doing? They're planning a porn site. Oh, that Peta. Oh, that Peta. That Peta with the. I thought you meant like the food. No, Peta, the animal rights group. They're actually. Is it an animal porn oh, site? Oh, God. You're... Oh, please tell me they're not doing what they think they're going to do. Yeah, oh, that reminds me so much of... And love South your pets, just don't love your pets. <laughs> yeah, like South Park episode where everyone's humping their pets. No, I don't... Animal think... lovers or something like Inter -species that. Interspecies erotica, fucko. Uh, let's see. And well, they're gonna make I'm a. Just old with the rest of this today. Yeah, they're gonna do a porn site, and it's gonna f instead of focusing on anti fur. Are they gonna stick things up chicks' anuses? The porn site will raise awareness of veganism. We uh, re we really want well, uh, to grab. People. Philosophic Al points out that uh, in the chat, Philosophic Al points out that I guess those ads would be. I'd rather go nerd. I'd rather go. Nude them with fur were so popular they decided to monetize them. <laughs> what does it mean to monetize? Make money off of. Make Play. Money. Yeah. Uh, the uh, the spokesperson of PETA says we really want to grab people's attention, get them talking, and to question the status quo and ultimately take action. Because the best way we can help the greatest number of animals simply by not eating them. Not and apparently, the Plan B was to fuck Maybe a lot. Fucking for the forest. We're there was a porn site called "Fucking for the Forest" once, where they tried to earn money with the okay, porn site. Fucking for the forest is an awesome band name. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh god! Seriously, someone needs to find a band called, called "Fucking for the Forest" and and you need to highlight it this week or next week. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I will do some research on it and then tell you more about this because it sounds so awesome. Yep, yeah, and that, yeah. that's the weird news. 
That wasn't weird. It, it was it, just presented by weird people. Ha ah, ha 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 ha. Very funny. You guys are weird. You're weird. All right. The uh, next one is usually where we talk about a top ten, but this time I found an interesting article about how to make a mockbuster in five easy steps. Yay. Of course, Asylum is known for... Take notes, kids. Yeah take, yeah, take your notes if you want to make a mockbuster based off a hit movie. All right, obviously, actually, this article is from Adult Swim. They actually interviewed somebody from uh, Asylum to do this article. Uh, step one. Look at the summer movie release schedule on Wikipedia. Uh... The Asylum doesn't strictly limit itself to summer movies, but it's a good place to start. I would. Uh, we go after the tent poles, the big studio titles for the most part. Uh, for, says uh, David Rimey, co-founder of the Asylum. Those have the most audience awareness and interest, and it's unlike that the release date will change. Oh my god, it exists. <laughs> yes. Okay. I can't believe you guys actually looked. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't look at me. Okay, Ruby. We'll save that for next time. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> All right. I gotta edit that out. All right. Anyways, uh, there are certain genres and types of movies that we stay away from, uh, like dramas. Pirate com- genre. He says like dramas, comedies, everything. Sh- should sort of be action slash adventure. So once they found something action need to target, the next step is to make sure that they're not calling it going to get sued for it. That means they probably can't make a movie called Sergeant USA without getting slapped with a lawsuit from the studios behind Captain America. But it's also, it's totally cool to do a, a Almighty Thor because the ancient Vikings who created the mythology aren't going to sue them, and they can't probably win a a argument with Marvel about it, we can find out how much of the content of the movie is original and how much uh, can we base our movie on. When they co- when they made a movie called War of the Worlds the same month that Steven Spielberg released the movie called World War of the Worlds, they could be all eat it, Spielberg, because both movies were based off the novel in the public domain. All of which suggests that if you are one of the three studios planning on a Snow White movie next year, expect the Asylum to beat you and beat you to the punch. Yeah, seriously, there's there's actually three studios planning to do a Snow White movie coming out in the near future. Yay! And they're all gonna suck. Yeah, just just to go off topic a little bit here with Snow White. Uh, there's one with uh, Kristen Stewart as Snow White. There's one with Lily. Ow. There's one with Lily Collins, the, the daughter of Phil Collins. Who? Hey, she's hot. Oh God. She's gonna be Snow White, and there's supposed to be there's yeah, another. I... And there's another one that I haven't heard of yet, but it's supposed to suck as well. If Phil Collins does the soundtrack for that version of Snow White, I'll see it. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. Phil. He did Tarzan, and it was badass. I'm oh yeah. See that. All right. Uh, this is not Michael. Bolton. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, and one more tip. I Pick... just shut my mouth before they get ideas. Yeah, you shut your mouth. Well, one more tip here. Pick something you're probably sure it's going to be an actual hit. People ask why we didn't do Cowboys and Aliens. The Asylum's Paul Bale says, and we considered it for a while, but in the, but in the markets we have, genre mixing doesn't work. In fact... The Asylum takes international genres taste very seriously. Disaster films work pretty much anywhere, Bale says, but creature films only work in a few territories. In most of Europe, a giant fish means nothing to them. Giant fish. Hey, Ruby, what does a giant fish mean to you? Giant fish uh, means to me a lot of food. Yeah, I was, I was thinking you would say a giant fish sticks. <laughs> Maybe fish sticks that you can do a lot of nice things with it, like... Gay fish, fish. stuff. 
<laughs> I don't know. Yeah. What What does a big, really, really big fish mean to you? No. Uh, a really, really big dish of fish. <laughs> I don't know. So even banned. <laughs> All right. Uh, s step two. Once you got your movie ready to be making, uh, you get ready for a busy next fourth four months. Uh, when it only takes months. Yeah, it takes uh, four months actually. Uh, uh, when they asked these guys how long it took them to go from saying. Uh, yeah, we could totally make our Fast and Furious movie to that thing actually playing on your TV. The answer was kind of shocking. Usually about four months. From the point that we come up with the concept to film actually being released, it's about four months. They usually have a finished script within four to six weeks and then get going from there. How do they do it that quickly? We have a third partner who is not a meth ad addict, but he does not like to sleep. This dude apparently gets used to working with the asylum way. It's about working fast and working within the restriction of a limited number of takes. We tend to hire crews, including directors and writers, who are just starting out, and they learned to do it at a pace that we required. Which means that they tend to leave the uh, amateurs at home because who needs someone like the that around? Who needs someone that? Who needs someone like? Th that are around when trying to make Titanic 2. We run into problems when working with people who haven't had the experience of working at a pace that we work at because the average film studio shoots an average of half a page to a page a day. We average 12 to 15 pages a day. Wow. Jeez. Uh, don't get gloomy though. The Asylum dudes are totally into working at this pace and they say that the actors they hire to they hire tend to like it too which makes sense if you think about it if you're working on a big budget Hollywood movie and you spent most of the day sitting in a trailer you usually stop being grateful that you have a job and it doesn't involve busting tables or pumping gas and, and start getting bored but if you sh if you're shooting 12 to 15 pages a day odds are you're busy act uh, busy acting pretty much all the time. Really. The only reason not to do a movie with the Asylum if you're an actor is if you don't want to be in a movie with the title like Two-Headed Shark Attack. Which is an actual movie coming out. Sweet. And guess who's going to be... But guess who's going to be in this movie? Me. Uh, two, oh. The two females is Carmen Electra. And Brooke and Brooke Hogan, daughter of Paul Hogan. Yeah. I... Ah. All right. Uh, step... Did we actually get Hulk Hogan? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, step three: be flexible. Yes, be very flexible. Uh, here's the best story from the silent about their movie Snakes on a Train. They weren't even going to make a. They weren't even going to make a movie called Snakes on a Train because Snakes on a Plane is pretty much already making fun of itself. But they had a project f fall through the month and they end up releasing Snakes on a Train. So they went with it. We kind of, we were kind of forced into making it, adding that the train rhymes with plane and trains are cheaper to do. So it's not all bad or anything. Then, after competing the film, they went to Kane's Film Festival with it to sell it to international distributors. Uh, our post, uh, our poster features a giant snake eating a train, and the Japanese buyers came in and said, "Is there a snake that big in a movie?" At that point, there wasn't, but we said yes. Uh, they called the studio back in Los Angeles and said they, need, they needed to hurry up and add a giant snake eating a train to make the Japanese happy. If you pick up a copy of Snakes on a Train tomorrow, you'll see a giant-ass <laughs> snake eating, a, eating the hell out of a train in the final film. <laughs> and that's true. Oh my god, Snakes on a Train is bad. It comes out of nowhere. Uh, step four. Have fun with this ridiculous thing you're doing. So the silent guys aren't trying to trick anybody. They aren't putting a movie called. They aren't 
putting a movie called Transformers to Fall of Man because they think that someone wants to watch Transformers Revenge of the Fallen and is going to get mixed up and watch their movie by mistake. It's just that if you're the sort of person who wants to watch one movie about giant robots and turn into cars, you'll probably be all jazzed to learn that there's, there's another movie about it. The Asylum also does brisk business in a non-mockbuster movies, and people get really excited about some of them. Nazi at the center of the earth had a great response. What? Nazi at the center of the earth? What the hell? Okay, the company's first real hit was Mega Shark vs. Giant... What? <laughs> yeah, I never heard of that. Nazi at the center of the earth? What the hell? Okay, the company's first real hit was Mega Shark vs. Giant Octopus. We all know that. Yay! And the story of how that one got made is a tale of subtle genius that struck a chord with people around the world. Someone's, someone said, well, sure, you got movies with the one giant creature, but what about two? The Asylum dudes are proud to report that the movie de debuted in, in France on Christmas Day, Christmas Day, and it was a smash hit. Uh, and if making up movies about freaking mutant zombie... N wait. And if making movies about freaking mutant zombie Nazis who live underground or evil two-headed sharks that doesn't seem like fun then you're dead inside sometimes you have you come home from a hard day at work and you want to watch Mega Piranha it's not brain surgery uh, if it's brain surgery it's autonomy their, dir their director of marketing said that let the uh, last step is uh what yeah man i hear a lot of crap in the background i you hear guys it suck i hear it too yeah. no, i can't do anything about it it's in my apartment and it's a completely new, new house and everyone is trying to fix their apartment because everyone just got their apartment in here and someone apparently screwed into the wall <sighs> that's all right that sorry the, uh, the last step into making a mockbuster is to make a bunch of money, of course. Here's the ultimate dirty secret about the Asylum does. It sells. There are a zillion independent filmmakers running around delivering pizzas and swimming in credit card debt, but these guys get paid for what they do. They manage to do that because they aren't concerned with art, and they're, they're, they'll give people exactly what they want. Case in point, Sunday School Musical. Uh, that was our first attempt at a family film. We went, we went to a seminar for marketing to a Christian audience, and the guy said that the perfect film would be a Christian version of High School Musical. The Asylum went for it and made some good business deals and turned, turned a profit it right, right away. The movie turned out to be the best reviewed of all the Asylum films. Though the home video that sales... That's a sad, sad movie. Yeah, though the uh, that is their highest viewed, really best, best viewed. Yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> what? Though, I, uh, though the home video sales have been kind of sluggish, I'm sh not sure what to take from that except to avoid quality. Well done, Asylum. Well done. To avoid quality. Yeah. And that's how you make a mockbuster in five easy steps. Lame. And why are you freaking screaming? Shit, it's not like it's painful. I don't know. <laughs> See, it's everybody a child. I'm a grown-ass man, and I'm sitting here, and I have to make grown-ass man decisions, like thinking about what cereal I'm going to eat this morning. <laughs> All right, last but not least, we'll talk about the uh, Attack Squad Q&A. Well, I don't any questions this morning. Uh, you really want me to answer that? <laughs> yes. Uh, actually, I have not received any questions. This is your fault, Mark, or whatever your name is, Mike. 
Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> oh, act. wait, wait, wait. Oh, there's a couple of questions here. Okay, never mind. I'm such a dork. Yay. All right. Let's... Nerd. You're such a nerd. All right, where am I here? Where's the first question? Let's see. Who do we got it for? Uh, who wants to get their questions first? I do. <laughs> so, let's see. Uh, Rosenhacker. Rosenhacker. Ah, here it is. <clears throat> All right. So. Oh! What is your favorite song? Um, Prince of the Universe by Queen. Pretty much anything by Queen, actually. Ah, okay. I think there's one more left here somewhere. Got it. Uh, hey, uh, last question for Rosenhacker Hacker is, were you really humping the couch in the 15th episode? Oh, no, uh-huh. no, I was not. Cow chomper. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <gasps> this sounded like it, though. <laughs> I dropped my mic once, and I'm never going to live it down. <laughs> nope. <laughs> All right. All right, so I guess I, I'll give uh, questions to Ruby, because there is quite a few here. Uh, obviously. Yes. Uh, yeah. Obviously, the first question is, uh, how was the uh, how was the con? You went to Ananite this year. How was it? Yeah, it was really nice. I mean, nice. I mean, I stayed um, for a quite shorter time than than last year because last year I spent all three days on of the weekend on the any night and this time I just went to see um, Doug Walker and and Noah Entweiler and, and all the other guys and, yeah, and, and Ben Sai and all the other guys Seth Panda and Welshy all the guys that were here from that guy with the glasses mm-hmm. and uh, question and answer session was really fun um, Doug didn't shoot any videos at the convention this year because his voice cracked up again so um, like everyone knows he sometimes has problem with his voice um, like we know like from the, the first time now episode. and it happened again so there are no videos this year um, but um, I talked to Spoonie afterwards to Noah and he said yeah he might give us an interview for a podcast once we can write him again and maybe we, we will see but I think we should send him a message maybe and try to convince him to give an, an interview he says he usually doesn't do it because he thinks he is not that good on podcasts but I can't imagine that Spoonie is isn't good in anything that has to do with uh, with uh, talking, internet, recording something, I just can't imagine it because he's a really nice and a really funny person. So, yeah, that is my report from the any night. Yeah, and I saw a lot of funny costumes, like always. <laughs> yeah, that's my report from the any night. All right, that's what I. That's what. And so- a lot of sex girls. <laughs> Oh, speaking of uh, of cons, I do have a quick announcement for like two seconds. We're going to a con? Hopefully going to MAGFest. Lame. Boo. Hey, anyone else going? Boo, no. no. What the? I, I can't go. Are you kidding me? I wish I could go. MAGFest. You guys got to try and go at least. Like... Yeah, okay, you try Literally to... everyone's going to be there. You try to schedule going to a con while you're in fucking college and you got stuff to do, blah, blah, blah. You can't do I'm it. I'm just skipping two days of school. I don't care. What? You can't skip two days of fucking school. Kids, kids, don't follow the example here that Rosenhacker has developed here. 
You stay in yeah, school. It's, it's like the week we get back from winter break, so I'm you not suck. missing anything. Kids, you stay in school. Don't listen to Rosenhacker says this and say skip school for two days and go to a freaking con. Dude, I missed school for three weeks last year. Oh my you god, suck. you suck. Then again, I, then again, it was because of an appendectomy, but yeah. Appendectomy. And a school trip. Deck to me. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think there is. Which incidentally is not as painful as listening to Party Rock Anthem. I like that song. <laughs> I hate that band so much, All but right. that's easily their worst, their least terrible song. <laughs> but it's their most overplayed, so it balances itself out. All right. So yeah, there's one. There's one more for Ruby and. She, since she's the music person on the podcast, I would like to know, what is the worst song that you have ever heard? Oh my god, that is such a difficult question to answer because there is um, such... There are so many bad songs out there. It's really hard to think of just just one and... One that you all know because a lot of very, very bad music is made in Germany. So, and also in Austria. How about so, this? The worst hit song, the worst American hit song. How about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. American hit song right at the moment. If you can't answer it, I do have an answer. Yeah. What? Um. Uh, at the moment, I mean, there is, there surely are a lot of songs. They just don't come into my mind right now. Which songs do I hate at the moment? Uh, Can I have more time to think about this question? Yes, yes, you can. Yeah, yeah, sure. And let, let's keep, let's keep right. moving on. What, what, do you, what do you guys think? I think of bears. <laughs> is okay, the... what do you guys know? What is, what is your like, pick for the worst song of... Worst pop song you've heard? Bears. <laughs> uh, okay, then. <laughs> I would go back to LMFAO, but not Party Rock Anthem. I'm going to say Shots. Shot, 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 shot. I like that song. That, that song is skin crawlingly awful. <laughs> Actually, no, no, no. That, not shots. I would say. Um, pro- oh, man, you think too much, man. Wow, Damn, yeah, man. Yeah. Just suppose. Not going. Question. I got it. I got it. Jen Rose's "OMG." That is the worst song ever. I like it. It's a terrible song, and and the video promotes child pornography. It's disgusting. Oh, God. Go with the long wannabes video on it. He reviews it twice. Yeah, he kind of reviews it. I'm totally not saying that because I've I've appeared in this show. Yeah, you have, Mr. Cameo. That cameo hurt. Yeah, of course. You bang your head against the wall because of Big Time Rush. Ooh. Yeah. What's, what's fucking Big Time Rush? You what will you have done? I, I kind of like Big Time Rush. Sad to say that, but yeah. I got no problem with them. It's actually kind of better than Jonas Brothers, and Nick Looney has something different for once. I think Nick Looney should just turn into it Disney. Mean good. I think Nick Looney should just turn into Disney and have, the, have musicians for their own record company. That's what Big Time Rush is! Oh, there's no other... Do you see the parallel here? No. No, I don't. I cannot obviously say it. I'm blind by the light. The You're mouse sh- holding us all. You guys are stupid. You shut up. Uh, okay. Can we go on to the next question? Fine. I wanna... just remembered one of the songs that... Oh I my really god! Really... Yeah, finally. <laughs> Rebecca Black Friday. That's not a pop song. It's te- <laughs> it technically is in the Billboard Hot 100. Uh, Amazing. But it's driving me crazy. At or number maybe, 50, but yeah, still. One, a second one that I can remember, I mean, it's a bit older. It's from 
Um, it's from Shakira, this one song, how is it called? I think it was kind of her first hit, and I hate this song so freaking much. Um, forever, forever, we're meant to be together. It's like that. I hate this song so much. Sounds familiar. <laughs> Whenever, yeah. Alright. Her style of singing is driving me so crazy, so most of the time when Shakira has a new song, I will probably hate it. Yeah. Could be Katy Perry. Could be yeah. Katy Perry. Yeah. Ah, Katy Perry has one song I like. It's Fireworks. I actually like that. It's just, that song is I can't stupid, think but Shakira kind of is bad. It's just, I personally don't like her style of singing. It's driving me nuts, really. Um, it's it's just a kind of a matter of taste, you know. And um, in case of Katy Perry, I like her actually, especially Fireworks. I listen to that song very very often because I as think a Californian, it's California girl hurts me. Yeah. All right. California. Partly because it demonizes my state. And you guys went on this question for the last no. five minutes. I was just gonna say, yeah, you guys brought it out the longest. Shut up. All right, I'm gonna more, th- more interesting than your question. <laughs> oh, do I have any questions? Yes, uh, yes, you do, DJ. See, I can, I can get in a burn too. <laughs> All right, the, the question for JJ is: If you could make a video game, you have all the equipment required, all the things you need to do to make a video game. What video game would you make? I'd make a fighting game. Specifically. And it'll be about drugs, and they give you superpowers, and it would it would have an epic storyline. It would be kind of like Twisted Metal, and then at the end you get your own wish. So Twisted Metal fighting game, basically. Yeah, but it'll have the Budokai engine, and you don't have a health bar. You just beat the shit out of the person until they give up. Or, yeah, Budokai engine would be awesome. Exactly. <laughs> and you just beat the shit out of your opponent until it's they give up. the only two... People here who know that what the Budokai engine is. Or Takaichi, Tenkaichi Budokai engine. That's, that's no, not one. that one. The original. Oh fuck you! That's the one I want, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> that's what Tenkaichi I want. Tenkaichi sucks. I love it. How do you not? Man, the other ones suck. It was a basic freaking side scroller fighting. Tenkaichi, you could fly around, shoot people and stuff. It was awesome. Can't do it very well. I liked it, and that's how my game would be. All right. Yeah, it, it for for reference, the, it, we're talking about the Dragon Ball Z games. Yeah, no, it would, it would have better physics. You'll be grounded. You could fly if you have certain characters and shit. But so it's Budokai. So it's Budokai. No, it's not Budokai because you can't fly, and that's the main <laughs> thing about Budokai. You can fly anywhere. Yes, you're right. You can run from your opponent, and the the maps will be stupidly huge. There'll be civilians, and you can kill them too. It's like an open sandbox fighter. And you don't have a health bar. You Isn't just that kind of a really bad idea because it defeats the purpose of a fighter. Fuck no! Because yeah. you're in the middle of a fight, you're not gonna go around shooting people in the dick. Yeah, no, but you could do that if you want to. But it's really meant to kill. Like the thing is, the more people you kill, the more power ups you'll get. So it's like infamous. Yes. See. Wow. It's all based around death. And then, like, you can kill enough people, then your freaking bar will go up, you can do your super, and you can annihilate half the city. The moral of the story is, shooting people in the dick gives you superpowers. Yeah, right. <laughs> Speaking of which, Saints Row 3 is coming out, and it's going to be awesome. It'll be a combination of Budokai, Saints Row, and, I don't know, Mortal Kombat for its epic storyline. Because I wanted to have an epic storyline. And Twisted Yeah, Metal, Mortal Kombat's pretty good. And Twisted Metal Black, because it'll have a very dark storyline like that. So, I would call it Urban Champion, but Nintendo already has that flag. Alright. Well, they're probably going to let the copyright go away soon. <laughs> then again, they just, re- they just released it on the 3DS. What, Urban Champion? For free, yeah. Lame. All right. A- anything else? Uh, there's one more. It might be a dumb question, but let's see. Okay. How cool. big is your penis? Yeah. How big is? <laughs> yeah. How big is your penis? How long is it? What's the girth of it? 
Not nah, two inches <laughs> off the ground. <laughs> anyway, what what is it? Read uh, it to me. All right, all right. Uh, what video game would you like to see turn into a movie? Uh, Power Stone. Power Stone. Power. I see that. Yes, I want Power Stone. So I can so I can do Power Stone shit. Okay, and uh, let's see. I think I got questions for everyone here. Just some general opinionated questions. Uh, obviously, the most this is going to be the biggest question that's been talked about for years and years and years. Star Wars versus Star Trek. What do you? Star prefer? Wars. Star Wars. I'm before a Jedi. I'm not that. Bi I'm not a Star Trek fan, like at all. Yeah, I never really liked Star Trek. So Star Wars, they have some lightsabers and Jedi's and shit. Except not the Blu-rays, because I don't, I don't want the stupid extra shit in there. All fucking Star Trek has is Vulcans, or yeah. Wow. I also prefer Star Wars. Right. I mean, I like Star Trek. I haven't seen a lot of Star Trek episodes, uh, mostly Deep Space Nine, and I like that one, but. Um, I think it's hard to compare. Uh, one of them is more of a TV show and a very long TV show with lots and lots and lots of episodes. And one is a series of six movies. And but three movies. Both is science fiction, but um, but it's a bit a different kind of media, I think. Um, but if I have to answer the question. It's uh, definitely Star Wars. Wow, you all suck! I can't believe I'm yeah, the, screw you. I'm the only one that likes freaking Star Trek. God damn Never it! Nobody cares about I like you. Star Trek. I like Just Star Trek. Star I Star guess Trek. like Spock. What <laughs> are you talking about? All right, and then uh, R2-D2 would be back. Yeah. I, don't, I don't usually watch Star Trek, but when I do, I prefer Picard. I prefer... Anyway, next question. All right, next question. Shut up, Rose, and I, I want to <laughs> eat. <laughs> All right, next question is... If you could go meet any celebrity and hang out with, who would it be? Drake. Did that one's count? Drake. Yeah, that one's count. Yes. Freddie Mercury. If well, not, if only living, then probably Christopher Drake. Walken. No, you suck. What about you, Ruby? Yeah. And do we uh, just talk of celebrities or also of anybody that reviewer celebrities? A anybody. 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 It could be your grandma. Hey, I was lucky. I already met most of the people that I really wanted to meet, like Doc Walker and Bensai and Spoonie. I want to meet um, Spoonie. Maybe I also uh, want to meet Lindsay Ellis. Lame. She's still missing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I would just, you know, for me, you know, nobody cares about me, but I'll just say it out there in the blue. I'll just... And maybe Elijah. Maybe I want to... An iota. Meet... Elijah what? Wood is cute. <laughs> God damn it, Mike, say it already. Damn, shit. Shit, okay. I want to meet and hang out with... Hell, I'll just go with the Phil Collins. Yay! Now, and I'll go to the next question. All right, the uh, last question for all of us is... Waffles. Do you prefer waffles or pancakes? Yes, pancakes. Really? Waffles. Waffles. Are we done now? I'm hungry. Pancakes. Yes. Just uh, edit out my anticipation of being done, and we'll be awesome. Just right. like our podcast. All right, that is it for the uh, Tag of the Awesome podcast. You have you guys been suck. You've been attacked. You've been attacked.
You've been attacked. Been attacked. See you guys next week. Hopefully. Hopefully. Dude. See ya. Bye. Bye. All right. See ya. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.